Hello wonderful people, this is the review of Transformers Animated Ironhide, same mold as the Ratchet Cybertronian mode figure in vehicle mode for a transfer, not transformation, as a comparison I have Rodimus Minor, which is kind of shaky now, Rodimus Minor with me, and he's about the same length as Rodimus Minor. So Rodimus Minor isn't that small, it's just that he's really thin. Almost as thin as the PSP. As you can see. I, I like making rhymes. Anywho. Yep, so this is a bit longer. That's what she said. Anyway, enough with this stupidity. He's the same mold as Ratchet, just better colors, and a lot of people are saying that the yellow, the, the orange doesn't really show up that well on the camera, but for me it's just shining perfectly. Like the light up here is shining, and that light from here is shining towards the camera perfectly, it's showing just the way it is. I love that song, gosh, it's stuck in my head. Alright, so, for transformation, I think you can keep these on while transforming it, but it's gonna pop off anyway. Maybe I should try it. First thing I like to do is just pop out. I have, this is the first time I'm actually transforming it, so everything might be kind of stiff. And you wanna just bring these inwards. And keep it like that. And then, Take these out. Turn them around. Yeah, everything is very, t very much a tight fit because of uh, this. How new the figure is, and this isn't locking into place. Ah, oh, okay. That might be a little problem. All right, I'm just gonna keep it like that. Well, this one taps in quite nicely. Well, this one is giving me problems already. Uh, I wouldn't actually. Sorry, it's it's actually really tough. I don't. I, I really don't want to break the joint. But continuing on, you just flip out the feet under here, and then flip this entire section, clamp it in between these little tire pieces. And I kind of do like how stiff it is, because my ratchet figure is all like wobbly and stuff. And you want to get, but you can't really see that. So you want to just get these pieces up here and just turn them up. For now, just extend them out a little bit and then turn them up. So you know. It's possible for you to get them out, and then you could just bring these. Ah, oh, it fell off. Damn it. So close. So you could get these out. Then you want to flip this whole assembly outwards. And then. Sorry, you can't see. And I can't adjust the camera right now. Kinda does suck. Um, and you just wanna bring that out, and then you wanna fold this down and bring these panels in. And bring this up, bring these up, flip the head out from under there, and wow, that's a magnificent head compared to the ratchet, which I didn't like. So there he is. Um, this did pop off. Mission fail. And this is still not picking in. And I want it to pick in. Because I love it when things are perfect and I hate it when they're not. Alright, so. Ah, yes. Now that's probably going to be stuck there. So when I reverse transform it, 
you will not listen to me once again. I'm pretty sure that these things do peg onto his arms. I'm not gonna try it. He does have that same gimmick where he just extends his arm. It looks really weird. And uh, it's the same thing as Ratchet's, just painted in a silvery color. I like that reflection that is showing up on the camera. It looks very metallic. As if it's as if it's like zinc or something. And here is the Ratchet figure. As you can see, Ratchet looks quite bad compared to Ironhide. His head is just marvelous. And he doesn't have much light piping. Ratchet has some light piping. And, and of course he's missing that uh, symbol there. Uh, Rat Why does Ratchet look a little taller? It's kind of weird. That's kind of a mystery. Huh. You can see that it's kind of Ratchet's kind of taller. Maybe I didn't do something quite right with the ratchet. It looks good, but Ironhide looks a little shorter. That's weird. But the, you can see kind of the head difference. I'm going to stand him against the wall. And as you can see, they fixed this problem by adding a little bit of plastic there. So it would clip on like... Tick. Well, this was just a flipping joint. They added a little bit of stuff there. So it helps support him. Uh, now I'm going to zoom in to the head. There's Ironhide with his smirk. There is Ratchet's with basically no smirk. I might decal it with a little bit of marker, Gundam marker, when I get it in the mail. But different heads, different heads. There's Ironhide. It's ratchets. Iron eyes, ratchets. Iron eyes, ratchets. Iron eyes, ratchets. Iron eyes, ratchets. Now I will transform these back. And of course, I'm going to get this out of the way. Um, I did not get them transformed. And I plan not to. To transform this doodad back. You want to just flip down the head, go down here, and just lift that up. And I see it's missing paint. See, this is thinner than that. But everything else is just perfect. Except with this. I didn't know this was on the ratchet figure. I didn't know we could do that. <laughs> Alright. You want to just come out here and flip out the arms again. Flip up the entire... Alright, I need to angle the camera up with something. Alright, excuse me while I try to do this. Okay. Ah, better. I'll just do that. Then bring these back down and then flip these inwards these arms flip these down make him kind of bend his stuff oh and his uh, arm and I did notice that it, does, it still does have this mark I need to fill that in with some kind of pl like plastic or something I don't know how I'm gonna get rid of that, but I just need to get rid of it. This is gonna get it's gonna start bothering me. Alright. Then I just wanna kinda just get everything around. Just rotate the arm. Plug this all the way around. And just just make sure that this piece is just flat. You just need to rotate this piece all the way around so the arms on the inside and peg these shoulder bits on. And now for the bottom, yeah, I'll use my PSP. You wanna just 
put the feet all the way back around and then you wanna split that bring this back and this slot slot this piece back in somehow oh jesus ah yes it's kind of like it's on the ground okay okay now that's bugging me because it's missing that but when you look on the back it's there not there there not there there is it just mine? I'm pretty sure I looked carefully when I bought this but that's very weird. I, I should probably watch some other videos of people doing views of this. Alright, excuse me. Alright, remember what I said about this leg? Yeah, it's getting stuck again. This one behaves well. This one is a, is a real pain in the neck. Oh my gosh. You don't know how tough it is to get this out. Okay, I pulled the entire leg off. Alright, this is not going to work as I planned. This is going to be one of those videos where I struggle for a very, very long time and then get it done. I see no way of doing this except unscrewing that and then separating and getting this off, shaving off the peg and then doing it. But I cannot do that right now because I'm afraid I'm going to break something. And this is a great figure. So I don't want to do that. So I'm not going to be able to transform this all the way. I'm really sorry you guys. I did not know my figure was retarded. But I'll just do the other leg. So when you have it like that, I'm gonna just angle this. Let's angle this all the way up like that. And there's a hole in the peg, just peg it on. And it should be good. And the peg is much nicer than the ratchets. Ratchets, my, the leg is starting to strain because of a... How... What is it? Because how much I pegged it and unpegged it. And it was so ridiculous that the pieces started to strain. And I don't like that because that inflicts damage to my figure. And nobody likes damage. Or at least I don't like damage. Uh, look at my... I'm looking for my screwdrivers. But I guess they're not here with me. So now it came out to become retarded. It looks like that. I really don't know. I'm sorry. Wonderful people. I love that. Well, you can still make it roll somehow. Alright, so... Now it doesn't look so retarded. So yeah, thanks for watching this video, even though it really didn't end too well not a happy ending because now I have to go and fix it I don't like fixing things they should be perfect when they come out of the packaging but yeah thanks for watching this video and uh, I hope you st stay tuned for more and uh, keep a lookout for more videos uh, bye